In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the twisted stocking knit stitch from scratch. So we're actually going to feed our little pen here, just a regular pen and then I'm gonna show you how to wrap it and get yourself started. So you're also going to need your loom pick. I use one that's called from Cricut. It's a lot stronger than the ones that are normally in the packages and it's really quite awesome. So without further ado let's get right started and let's load up our empty pen. You're looking for a pen that will fit in between the pegs. So if it can sink down you're laughing and therefore you don't have to hand wrap with your fingers but you can just draw the yarn on with the pen. Let's load that up. So here's my suggestion. With a piece of wire or floral wire or anything like that what you wanna do is just grab your yarn that you would like to do and sandwich it in between the wires right to the end. You're then going to take the other side and insert it into the pen and pull it through. And then that's it. So your pen's loaded and this is good to go. So let's begin to load up our loom. Now remember with these flat looms you can go as big as you wanna go so there's much longer versions but this particular one is just a shorter one for demonstration purposes. I would like you to start off with the slip knot so I'm gonna pretend that you don't know how to do a slip knot. So you're just going to take the yarn and take your pointer finger and wrap the yarn twice. Okay so yarn wrap twice. So point and wrap twice. Noticing that this is already on, it has to be on before you do this. You're going to take the back one that's on the back of your hand and jump it over the forward so it's a game of leapfrog and then you're gonna take this new back one and this frog is so excited when he jumps over the other one then he jumps right over the top of the finger and that is your slip knot that you're going to start with. So wrap in your finger twice, play the game of leapfrog. The back one jumps over the first one and then the new one that's at the back is so excited he jumps over and goes right up over top of the finger and therefore that is your slip knot and that's the one I want you to put right here. So put that on there and secure it by just pulling it a little bit snug. Don't pull it too tight and tuck the straggler so that it's inside the loom like that. Now with your pen just pull the yarn back so that the pen is feeding the yarn directly from the edge. So this one is considered already done. It has your slip knot. It will hold everything into position and when you come down you're gonna come down in between the two pegs like this and circle around like that. So it's a twisted knit so it's twisting over top of the other strand that was just there. Now you're gonna come to the next one across and go on the outside and circle back around so that it crosses and then you come straight down and cross. So over and cross and down and cross. So you can go as far as you wanna go. If you wanna stop here you can. You can stop at any point. I'm gonna go right to the end of the loom because it's your lucky day. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end and I'm gonna circle around and hold. So this is a cast on process. So now I wanna take my fingers and just push down so they sink all the way to the bottom of the loom. Now grabbing this back up just make it taut again and when you come up come straight up in between, circle around. It's the only time it doesn't actually cross over that time and then come down to the base and then cross. Okay and then jump over and cross and over and cross. So you're gonna come all the way to the last one and come around and out to the outside and kind of pinch. So if it comes loose just tighten it back up. No biggie. So coming down and cross. So you wanna secure that right away. So just kind of pinch. Now you want to do the last one that was just wrapped so that it will hold it. So just grabbing the bottom one and popping it up over the top and pushing it down. And so therefore that can be let go. It's more of a natural position I believe in my opinion to pull the yarn. Now there's tension on this because you've just wrapped it. So I would recommend that you pull the top ones first all the way across.
by pulling the top ones all the way across you're removing the tension from this wrapping process. So when you flip the other side instead of turning the loom upside down and doing the same thing you can just flip up like this and hold it and you will realize that there's no tension at all. So it's just a matter of scooping it up and throwing it over top of the peg and you'll do that all the way back. So once all of them are just having one solo strand just use your hand, push down and then reset. So to start again right where you're sitting you're gonna come straight up in between the two pegs and around and then come down to the one you were just in and around. I'm using Karen Sprinkle Cakes by the way just in case you're wondering. So it's a chunky weight yarn so I only need one strand but normally these would require at least two if you're using four ply worsted yarn. Once you can really get moving on this thing you can just really do some damage <laughs> as far as like really going quick. So this is the last one I wrapped. So it's the first one I need to knit so that it will hold it so it won't unravel and that's it. So then turn it over and do the ones on top. It doesn't matter if I go in this direction or I start and go back in the other direction. It's up to you. I tend to go in the direction from where the yarn is last um, from. So go all the way to the top, pull over. If it's a little too loose just use your thumb in behind. Just don't stab yourself with that pick and you can present, uh, prevent things from falling off if you have to. And there you go. So just turn it. There's no tension left and it's easy. So this is the twisted stocking knit stitch. So you can go as big as you would like to go. It's up to you and how far you would like to take your journey. You can do nice beautiful scarves like this and what this stitch looks like is if you were to look at your socks it looks like that stitch but in such a grand scale because it's a lot thicker of the yarn. So you can just keep on going. Just push down and your project is then coming out the back side.